Dear Lifeboat, in all the books I read, the girl that everyone falls in love with is always shy. She's seen as intriguing because you have to work harder to get to know her. I do not believe others see my shyness as interesting, but simply too much work to get to something that's probably not that exciting anyway. My favorite book Dear is Dear Shelby Joan, all my life I've had a little trouble making new friends. Have you ever heard the phrase, you'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar? I hate that phrase, but maybe I hate it because I've always run a little lower in the honey department. Sometimes I think I should try a Dear Lifeboat, I have also been told before that I can come off as arrogant, but sometimes I find it almost physically impossible not to educate someone on something they're doing that could be done better, especially if it's something that's affecting other people or the environment or animals or- Dear Shelby Joan, I'm sorry that the lady at the farmer's market was being so rude to you. I love that your first instinct is to be kind without even a thought, but every now and then when the situation calls for it, the person in question not only deserves, but actually needs it for their own personal growth to be slapped across the face. I've already used it my lifetime worth of slaps. Dear Lifeboat, when we were kids, we were always told to be honest and tell the truth. But sometimes I feel like you're expected to do the opposite when you're grown up because people don't want to know how you're actually feeling. Is it because grown ups are usually just feeling something bad? I've attached a copy of Dear Sobe Joan, my roommates are mad at me because I took apart the coffee pot and I've had more trouble than I expected in putting it back together. I just wanted to see how it worked, but I may have accidentally misplaced a couple of key pieces. On the bright side, I have now learned everything I need to do. Dear Lifeboat, deciding not to spend the holidays with your family is nothing you should feel guilty about, especially since they live so far away and they make you feel bad about yourself every time you see them. Even my parents can be really- Dear Sobe Joan, you're an amazing artist and I love all of your sketches, especially your accuracy in shading and shadow. Is the cat supposed to be Donut? Lately, Donut's been an absolute shit. Dear Lifeboat, I feel like if I thought about it hard enough, I could perfectly summarize even my most confusing and vague emotions with a single word. Even if that word isn't a descriptor in any way, but a thing like grapefruit or lamp? Below are some drawings that I- Dear Sobe Joan, I can't believe you spent six hours under a bridge in order to capture the essence of ducks who felt unobserved. I think you might officially be a troll now. You can start charging people to try to cross and force them to sit and let you draw them. Although that might just be a caricature artist. Sometimes I think about how you would draw me. How long have you been- Dear Lifeboat, as an artist, I'm always wanting to create, but that does not mean I'm always creating. I get distracted more than I'd like to admit. Sometimes I feel bad about it, but other times I think if I lean into the distraction, who knows, maybe I could get inspiration from it? Inspiration comes in a lot of different- Dear Sobe Joan, sometimes it's good to give in to vulnerability. I'm not one for crying at the end of movies or hugging or things like that, but every so often letting a guard or two down even within yourself can be really grounding and feel pretty good. A lot of times I even- Dear Lifeboat, my mother tells me that I'm too much of an open book and I should practice controlling my subtle facial expressions and body language so as not to hurt other people's feelings. She says that I do it to get attention. Dear Sobe Joan, I stayed up until 3.30 last night listening to the artist you recommended. I noticed it lives in the minor key and doesn't resolve to the song's home pitch very often, sort of putting you on edge. The nice thing is when it does resolve to the home pitch, it feels even nicer because it's not just expected, it feels comforting. I guess resolution feels even nicer when you've experienced unresolved phrases. Do you have other recommend- Dear Lifeboat, today is National Compliment Day. I've been trying to compliment myself more, and I've been keeping a list of things I like about myself in my notebook. This is really inspiring for me, and it helps me feel good about working on myself. Dear Sobe Joan, when I was a kid, I hoarded Halloween candy like someday they would decide to just stop making it. To this day, I still view my time and energy like something finite and spendable, as if it's a real, tangible thing that can be used up and you never get back. I'm not saying this is a very healthy way to live your life, but be that as it may, I can only seem to do so much and interact with so many people before I actually have nothing thing left in me. Do you ever feel like- Dear Lifeboat, when I was in middle school and throughout high school, my mom used to review everything I ate like a food critic at a restaurant. She always thought she was being funny and it usually made me laugh. Sometimes I'd still think about- Dear Sobe Joan, what if I'm tricking everybody into thinking that I'm somebody that I'm not? The moment anyone thinks I'm at all cool or put together, I feel as if at any moment I'm going to open my mouth and reveal every insecurity and embarrassing secret I have. They'll know the truth, the real truth. Maybe our identities are completely made up anyway, we should just say fuck. Dear Lifeboat, occasionally I catch myself feeling as if I'm from another planet. I look and act and speak like a person, but when I see others taking part in ordinary ways of living, I feel detachment, or sometimes even contempt. Is that bad? I don't think my parents have ever taken a risk in their life. So maybe I'm just scared? I'm scared that that's gonna be me. Dear Sobe Joan, I've never understood the term guilty pleasures. People like what they like, and I don't know why anyone would think something they like should be kept secret. 
I feel like if anyone asked, I couldn't help but just let my entire self spill out without even a thought. I don't know why I'm waiting for someone to ask. Oh.